اسلامک فاؤنڈیشن آف ٹورانٹو سالہ سال سے کمیونٹی کی خدمات کرتا چلا آ رہا ہے یہاں پر کمیونٹی کے لیے مختلف سروسز دی جاتی ہیں جیسا کہ میت اور تدفین ضرورت مندوں کے لیے فوڈ کی تقسیم نکاح مشاورتی خدمات فل ٹائم ہفس پروگرام ایوننگ کلاسز سنڈے اسلامک اسکول سینئرس پروگرام روحانی اور مذہبی سیمینار اسلامک فاؤنڈیشن آف ٹورانٹو کے اخراجات آپ کے دیے ہوئے ڈونیشن سے پورے ہوتے ہیں انہیں آپ کے ڈونیشن کی ضرورت ہے ڈونیشن کے لیے کال کیجیے فور ون سکس تھری ٹو ون زیرو نائن زیرو نائن یا وزٹ کیجیے ڈبلو 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 ڈاٹ اسلامک فاؤنڈیشن ڈاٹ سی اے بارک Muslims who love the Qur'an. My brothers and sisters, I'm very pleased to be with you today. Alhamdulillah, I was invited to be a judge in this incredible competition. I found, alhamdulillah, many examples of students of the Qur'an who can be, insha'Allah, in the future scholars and teachers for the next few generations, insha'Allah. So I would love to thank Imam Yunus and Sheikh Omar and Islamic Foundation for this invitation. And thanking as well everyone and everybody, all the companies, all the people who sponsored this competition and this activity, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them immensely. Actually, Ahbabi, I want to speak with you a few minutes, inshaAllah, ta'ala. I have some points wanted to express and speak with you about inshallah we are in a quran competition that's for memorizing the quran to celebrate the students of the quran so We are We all are happy, happy to be here, here. alhamdulillah. What, What is, is the memorization, the memorization of, the of the Qur'an among, among the, sacred the sacred law? law. law. Al-Imam Abu Muzahim al-Khaqani, who is one of the scholars of the Qur'an in the fourth Hijri century, 1100 years ago, he says, فَأَوَّلُ عِلْمِ الذِّكْرِ إِتْقَانُ حِفْظِهِ وَمَعْرِفَةٌ بِاللَّحْنِ مِنْ فِيهِ إِذْ يَجْرِ The first thought, the first step of learning the Qur'an and to know the sacred law Is, 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 is perfect your memorization of the Qur'an very well and to know the mistakes when you are making during the recitation the errors, the mistakes your issues of the tajweed not only of your memorization this is step number one in learning the sacred law to be a scholar To be a alim, you have to memorize the Qur'an first of all. And to perfect your memorization and to know the tajweed very well and implementing the tajweed. All this process is the step number one. So, dear participants, do you understand that? Do you know what are you doing now? You are in the step number one. The winners 
Tonight, inshallah, bi idnillahi ta'ala, we will celebrate them all. We are very happy to see them achieving their goals, inshallah. But they have to know that the journey is long and they have to go. They have to continue their journey. It is seem like a person who wanted to build a big building. So what is the first step? Purchase a land. So when you are memorizing the Quran, learning the Tajweed, implementing that, being very good, winning all the competitions, inshallah, ta'ala, you are same like a person who purchased a piece of land and he didn't build anything. Start your building. Start to build. It is a big building. You have to start. It is a long journey. You need to work. You need to think about your intentions. Why we are reciting, guys? Why are we reciting? To win? Okay. To attend here, in this stage, on the lights, on the camera, it's a good, good place, good achievement. But think about your rank. What will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you in the hereafter? What is the celebration that day? Will you think about this stage? Will that be our intention? All things that we think about? No. No. We won't see this place. The reciters of the Quran have different levels. Some of them just reciters who are reciting reading properly Jazahumullahu khayran Allah reward you and reward them all we have higher level the higher level is to be a qari who is the qari? are you listening? pay attention this is very important who is the Qari? The Qari who memorized as you did, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen learned the rules of the Tajweed and the sources of those rules who implemented the Tajweed the Tajweed rules in a full khatma a whole khatma He's reading the entire khatma to a sheikh who did the same thing to his sheikh, who did the same thing to his sheikh, same like a chain, unbroken chain to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When you do that, and do that properly, the sheikh will say, oh, you did that properly. You recited the whole Quran from the beginning to the end, from Surah Al-Fatiha to Surah Al-Nas. And you have no mistakes in your recitation. Exactly same like I received from my Shaykh. Then he will say, you have my permission to teach the Quran to people and to spread the Qur'an in your community. We call that 
إجازة. Who wants to have an إجازة إن شاء الله after his finishing his memorization? Ah, the majority, ما شاء الله of them. بارك الله فيكم. We have a step, another step higher. When you become a مقري, who is the مقري? The مقري who learn the different recitations, the different narrations of the Holy Quran. We have ten different قراءات. For each قراءة, we have two narrations. So, think about that. Think about it. Learn. Keep learning, Barakallahu Fikum. And you need at the same time to think about understanding the Arabic language. Think about that. We are reading Quran. We will read the Quran our entire life. But we need to spend some time to learn the meanings of the Quran. That's amazing. That will change everything in your life. That will increase your ability to recall the ayat. That will increase your ability to improve your waqf and ibtida, where to stop and where to start again. That will increase your ability to continue in the sacred law. Ulum al-shari'a, al-fiqh wa al-aqaid wa usul al-fiqh wa ulum al-Qur'an wa al-tafsir. بارك الله فيكم أحبابي. We all, we are all, everyone here has the ability to become a hafiz إن شاء الله بإذن الله تعالى. How many years we spent thinking about thinking about increasing our memorization? Oh. How many of us thought to be a half of one day? I think the majority. Can you raise your hand if you did that before, please? MashaAllah. Do you know if you memorized one single ayah every single day? You need just 18 years to finish your memorization. Just an ayah. Very short. How, many, how much time you need to memorize an ayah? Five minutes, maybe ten minutes maximum. Some ayahs in the Quran are one word only. So, think about it. Mawlana Shabbir, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him. He didn't attend yesterday. And he came today and he said, Sorry, I didn't come yesterday. Uh, I was celebrating my uh, finishing my memorization. He's 67 years old. And he is not the first one I saw him in my life who memorized the Quran in that age. I know a person who started to memorize with me. He, he was above 60, yeah, I'm sure. He was above 60, 65 maybe. He started. And he didn't imagine that he could finish this journey of memorizing the Quran. But I said, you can start, my uncle, just a few words, two lines, three, five lines a week. Can you do that? He said, you know, I'm very old. Who can memorize in my age? And I said, you can do. Just start. Spend some time and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open for you. He spent with me 
more than 10 years. More than 10 years memorizing until he finished his memorization and he became a hafiz and he became stronger and so more solid than and more stronger in his memorization than than his both sons who memorized with me and one of them has has ijazah had ijazah mashallah mashallah he enjoyed the time do you think he's free he doesn't have th something to do he was a merchant traveling all over the world has a big uh, a big business but he spent some time and then subhanallah he started to free up more time more time more time more time enjoying the quran Start, Barakallahu Feek. How can you start? Tonight. Do not sleep without memorizing single ayah. A single ayah. Let's start with Surah Al-Kahf. Okay? A single ayah. And don't think about the end. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase your rewards. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will elevate your rank in Jannah one degree and one rank for each ayah you are memorizing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open for you. Allah yiftah alina wa iyyakum bimanni wa karami. I will end with some few points, inshaAllah bi'nillahi ta'ala. I want to give a comment about the tone when we are uh, writing the marks for the students and the participants who are competing in this competition we are giving them mark for tone some of the reciters has mashallah a nice very nice tone but they have lots of mistakes in terms of in terms of tajweed so that is not good some of them has very nice recitation in terms of tajweed but their tone is not that much who is better the first or second one mashallah all of you sing the second yes yes the second one is better than the first one the tone is important Yes, but it is supporting for your recitation. It is not the pillar of your recitation. Barakallahu feekum. Okay? So think about your tajweed. Think about your recitation, how to be, how to recite properly. Allah iftah alaykum, ya Rabbi. Some of the, the reciters sat here in this chair, mashallah, such a blessed chair, they had some mistakes and I'm sure I'm myself sure that subhanallah that that happened with them suddenly they had a mistake some of other reciters didn't have the same mistakes do not feel that you are better than people who had the mistakes. Barakallahu feekum. You don't know who is better. And you didn't recite the same portion. Allahu A'lam. If we asked you another question, what will happen? And we don't know who will get benefits more and who will increase the khair and the barakah and the blessings in this community in the future, insha'Allah, we don't know. We don't know. Sahih? So, do your best, barakallahu feekum. Do your best. And ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept your recitation, to accept your work, and to give you the ability to do more. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yarzuqna wa iyyakum ar-ridah. 
الرضا when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepting us Alhamdulillah this is the best the best thing we need to achieve when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you his rida you will have the happiness in the dunya and hereafter and I'm asking barakallahu fikum all the attendants when you see someone reciting properly nice recitation good tone mashallah no mistakes something is young and 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 we have to Remember to say Masha Allah. Hmm? Remember Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and say Masha Allah la quwwata illa billah. Barak Allahu fihim. Jazahum Allah khairan. Wafqahum Allah. Okay, this is very important. Barak Allah fikum. Jazakum Allah khairan for listening. Uh, I'm asking Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to give us all uh, His power and His support. To continue in this community in the West here uh, and protect our kids and our uh, sons, our children, insha'Allah, ila yawm al And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect their deen and their religion and to be righteous, insha'Allah, in Allah ta'ala, ila yawm al and or, uh, all our dhurriya ila yawm al qiyamah. Allahumma ameen. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali wa sahbihi ajma'in. Alhamdulillah. اسلامک فاؤنڈیشن آف ٹورانٹو سالہ سال سے کمیونٹی کی خدمات کرتا چلا آ رہا ہے یہاں پر کمیونٹی کے لیے مختلف سروسز دی جاتی ہیں جیسا کہ میت اور تدفین ضرورت مندوں کے لیے فوڈ کی تقسیم نکاح مشاورتی خدمات فل ٹائم ہفس پروگرام ایوننگ کلاسز سنڈے اسلامک اسکول سینئرز پروگرام روحانی اور مذہبی سیمینار اسلامک فاؤنڈیشن آف ٹورانٹو کے اخراجات آپ کے دیے ہوئے ڈونیشن سے پورے ہوتے ہیں انہیں آپ کے ڈونیشن کی ضرورت ہے ڈونیشن کے لیے کال کیجیے فور ون سکس تھری ٹو ون زیرو نائن زیرو نائن یا وزٹ کیجیے ڈبلو 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 ڈاٹ اسلامک فاؤنڈیشن ڈاٹ سی اے السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ یوسف بدات ہیئر دا امام ایٹ دی اسلامک فاؤنڈیشن آف ٹورانٹو الحمد للہ وی آر ان دا بلیسڈ منتھ آف رمضان وی میک دعا اینڈ وی سپلیکیٹ ٹو دی اول مائی اللہ سبحان تعالی that he continue to bless us with the best of acceptance. May he accept our fasting, our prayers, our du'as. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala relieve the entire ummah of difficulties and challenges. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the best of peace and prosperity. As many of you brothers and sisters know, the Islamic Foundation of Toronto is a masjid and a full-fledged organization that is located in the east end of Toronto, one of the largest masajid in Toronto and Canada as well. And a number of services that many of you have benefited from or know about, and we continue to serve the community. It's great to see that the masajid and the places of worship are now opened post-COVID-19 situation of the lockdowns. And... Uh, Despite uh, some of the challenging circumstances around the pandemic, we are able to still congregate, mashallah. We are able to have uh, the iftar at the masajid and we're able to continue with the programs and the acts of worship of Salatul Isha, Taraweeh and the various prayers and our congregations. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to shower His mercy upon all of us and our families and the entire ummah in general. The Islamic Foundation of Toronto is committed to serve. We have a number of programs. We start with some reminders about the regular prayers. We have uh, hundreds of congregants that attend the prayers every single day from Fajr all the way to Isha. And we also have uh, the uh, Janazah services, the funeral services. We have Nikah services, marriage uh, services uh, for anybody who is getting married. We also have the educational uh, classes and services as well. We have the regular uh, madrasa where hundreds of children every single day are learning the Qur'an, are learning the basics of Islam. We also have a specific program called the Sunday School where children uh, in the community are coming on the Sunday if they're unable to come during the week. 
and they are again learning the basics of Islam, reciting the Quran about the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him, and the beautiful stories surrounding the various prophets and how we can all become better and greater Muslims and citizens of our beautiful societies and our countries. We also have uh, at the Islamic Foundation of Toronto outreach programs where we connect uh, with different communities and societies, in particular the twinning program where we are twinned with a few synagogues and we have interfaith sessions where uh, the, the Jewish community comes to the masjid and, and that sometimes we are also going to the synagogue. And what we are doing is we are doing interfaith sessions. We're learning about each other's faiths and practices and bringing one another uh, closer to each other and other communities as well, uh, the Christian community, the temples, the, the various uh, uh, different uh, diverse communities and our masjid is open for these groups as well uh, to visit the mosque and have tours as well. Uh, similarly, we have an entire program here at the Islamic Foundation of Toronto of uh, giving charity uh, to cover and help the vulnerable in the community and the society both locally as well as internationally as well. Uh, for example, we have a hot soup kitchen every single Saturday. Uh, Non-Muslims and Muslims come together uh, to have a fresh cooked meal. These meals are also delivered to homes and shelters in the community. And some of these shelters are specific to the youth. Others are specific to women and children. All of this is all possible through the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and through your contributions. And it goes without saying that the best time to give charity is in the blessed month of Ramadan. And this is why I come to you on behalf of the Islamic Foundation of Toronto. And I make this earnest appeal to myself and every one of you that, are, that is watching or listening this, to this program that we all contribute to the Islamic Foundation of Toronto to maintain these surface, services, to upkeep these services and continue educating our children and the community, uh, to continue supporting the vulnerable, the, the, the poor in our societies, and similarly to continue all the programming uh, for the uh, interfaith and the outreach and all the services that takes place here at the Islamic Foundation of Toronto. Please give generously in the month of Ramadan. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him's generosity is described in the month of Ramadan wherein uh, the Sahaba, the companions say, كَانَ أَجْوَدُ النَّاسِ وَأَجْوَدُ مَا يَكُونُ فِي رَمَضَان That the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him, was the most generous from amongst us. But in the month of Ramadan, his generosity was just outstanding. كَالْرِيحِ الْمُرْسِلَةِ It was like a very strong wind in intensity. Just like we feel the strength and the might of that strong wind. Everybody around the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him, felt and experienced the generosity in the month of Ramadan to help others, to help the services of the community. So please do contribute. Visit islamicfoundation.ca and give in large and small amounts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you and your families, will relieve you of your difficulties and your problems. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him, says, Man bana lillahi masjidan, bana Allahu lahu baytan fil jannah. That anyone who establishes and maintains the masjid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will establish for them palaces in paradise. We all want to attain paradise and what better moment and what better place to spend than in the month of Ramadan uh, for the cause of the services of the Masajid. We specifically also have arrangements for channeling your zakat. When it comes to the services of the Masjid, it is only lilla donations that are accepted, uh, which are used to pay for the bills regarding the Masjid and the services of the Masjid. But when it comes to helping the poor and the needy, your zakat is channeled towards helping these poor families pay for their rent, pay for their food and their basic necessities. Uh, we, we are supporting many newcomers as well. And through your sadaqah and your zakat, uh, we are able to uh, assist these families uh, who depend 
on the contributions that are given to them uh, from the masjid. So an earnest appeal. This is the month of Ramadan. The giving hand is far better than the receiving hand. Be those who give. The Prophet ﷺ, he told Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Anfiq ya Bilal. Uh, spend, O oh Bilal, from the treasures that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will spend upon you. When we help the masjid and we help the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah helps our homes and our families. When we help the poor and the needy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps us in our circumstances, in our situations. This is the uh, blessed month of Ramadan. Man ja'a bil hasanati falahu ashru amthaliha. And when we do a deed, the minimum that it is multiplied is tenfold. But in the month of Ramadan, it is multiplied even more. And it is multiplied to, ex uh, to extends that we can't even imagine. So uh, we all know about the Islamic Foundation of Toronto and the great services that uh, the masjid and the organization provides in all of these realms of education, worship, uh, funeral services, and also outreach and interfaith and helping the poor and the needy within our communities. Uh, so this cannot happen without the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your support. Over the years you have helped and you have supported. We come again to you to uh, appeal to you that you continue supporting and giving contributions, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you, Allah will reward you, Allah will accept your prayers, Allah will give you the best of returns in this world and the hereafter. The Prophet ﷺ speaks about two angels. One angel that comes and every single day makes dua, Allahumma anfiq, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a'ti uh, munfiqan uh, khalafa, give the one who spends great returns and great amounts uh, back. And the one who withholds and doesn't contribute, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them, uh, you know, deprivation. So we don't want to be amongst those who are deprived. We want to be amongst those uh, who are given many fold from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best opportunity is now. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for your contributions. We're appealing to you, visit islamicfoundation.ca and give in large and small amounts. The minimum that we're requesting from all of you is $1 a day. Any one of us that is earning in any way, shape or form, the masjid is appealing to you that at least contribute $1 a day. That totals to $365 for the whole year. And by doing this, it's as if you are helping the masjid every single day. Every single day, just like we eat, just like we relieve ourselves, uh, we also will have this in our accounts that we are helping the masjid and the services and the cause of the community. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasting. Allah reward us. Allah bless us. Allah help you and your families. Allah give you the best of peace and prosperity. Accept all your prayers and give you the best in this world and the hereafter. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum. Islamic Foundation of Toronto Salah Salse community ki khidmat karta chala aara hai. Yaha par community ke liye mukhtalif services jati hain. Jaisa ke mayat aur tadfin, zarurat mandon ke liye food ki taksim, nikah, mashawrati khidmat, full time hips program, evening classes, Sunday Islamic school, seniors program, ruhani aur mazhabi seminar. Islamic Foundation of Toronto ke akhrajat aap ke liye huye donations se pure hote hain. Inhe aap ke donations ki zarurat hai. Donations ke liye कॉल कीजिए 4163210909 या विजिट कीजिए www.islamicfoundation.ca